Hey everyone, July 20, 2025. Can slow twitch type 1 fibers be converted into type 2A fast twitch fibers? The million dollar question. The experts have spoken. Yes, it can be done. Andy Galpin, here he is saying it. People will often talk about, okay, can I change my fiber type? The answer there is resoundingly yes. And can I change it with exercise? And the answer is absolutely you can. And you got influences like garage strength. He says it's possible because a shop putter allegedly did it. We're going to go into how you can turn your slow twitch muscle fiber into fast twitch muscle proven by science. And we're going to start right now. This is a short video. I'm going to go into a longer form video to break this down. I'm just giving you a synopsis a breakdown. So let me break it down for you. They say type 1, type 2A, type 2X exist in a continuum. Depending on your training, they could go from type 1, type 2A, type 2X. They just found the fountain of youth. Oh my goodness. All you have to do is heavy squats, deadlifts, plyometrics, and voila! You just discovered the fountain of youth. You're going to have a 90-year-old moving like a 20-year-old, but no such thing exists. Why is that? Because it's full, pure nonsense. They don't exist in a continuum. This is how they, this is how they came up with this. In the 70s and 80s, they discovered this thing called hybrid fibers. Hybrid fibers. They could convert to 1, 2, A, 2X. These are called hybrid fibers. They change their will like a chameleon. Here's the difference. Let me tell you what the problem is. You know how they figure this out? They measure what's called the myosin heavy chain protein inside the fiber that it increases. In other words, a type 1 has little myosin heavy chain, type 2A has a little bit more, and type 2X has a lot. There's a problem with this. That doesn't, that's a reaction. That's not a cause. That doesn't change. A myosin heavy chain level doesn't change the fiber. It just increased the level of the mind, depending on the workout you do. Let me break it down from the beginning, okay? When, when your brain sends a signal to get a drink a glass of water, it activates type 1 fibers. It sends certain signals, and only certain motor neurons are activated. One motor neuron controls, a motor unit is a neuron, and all the muscle fibers it controls. Okay, Motor neuron is not hybrid. Type 1 fiber has... One motor neuron, a, a smaller cell body motor neuron. A type 2A has a bigger cell body motor neuron, and a type 2X has the bigger one. The exons, it's like a wire that the signal goes through. A type 2X or type 2A is a thicker one because the signals have to go through there. Let me explain. A type 1 fiber, the most it can accept is up to 20 hertz, 20 pulses, they call it, per second. So the signals go 20 pulses per second. A type 2A is like from 21 to 60 hertz per second, and a type 2X is from 60 to 100 hertz per second, and the motor neuron has to match that, and the axon has to be wide enough. If it's thin, if it's a type 1 fiber, I don't care how much you work out, you will always get the same amount of hertz inside the muscle fiber. So just because the MHC went up, it doesn't mean the firing rate went up with it. Yo. Slow twitch fiber can only get up to 20 hertz. No matter what kind of exercise you do, nothing. Here's more. This sarcoplasm reticulum releases calcium, activates troponin, moves tropomycin out the way, and the myosin head attaches to what's called actin, and it pulls it in. Each fiber has its own sarcoplasm reticulum. Type 1 has small. They can only release a certain amount of calcium. You know, it cannot convert to type 2A because Biologically, it's impossible. So what the, what the researchers are going by, they're going by the level increased, the level of MHC increased in the muscle tissue. Therefore, the entire system from brain to the contraction change with it. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's biologically, you're biologically born with that. What I'm saying is this, ladies and gentlemen, don't believe the hype buying these apps. I'm not going to mention the names. I will do my training, you will turn type 1 into type 2. Bullshit. Impossible. Because if that's, if that's the case, 90-year-olds doing, doing their routine will move like 25-year-olds again. Come on, man. This is crazy. Marathon runners, elite marathon runners, will turn into elite sprinters. Impossible. Their body's not made for it. This is what happens. 
let's say somebody has 40% you know in a specific muscle somebody has 40% fast twitch 60% slow twitch let's go to shop putter he trained for 15 years 500,000 tons of lifting he won he won the medal only one problem at the end he still had 40% fast twitch 60% slow twitch they didn't convert at all the fast twitch increased in size okay and it took over 67 percent of the entire muscle tissue that they that they studied it just increased in size and the type one decreased in size so they assume now this is what happens when fast twitch fibers increase in size not chain not slow twitch fibers change the fact when they increase in size the mhc increases with it so when they take a biopsy of the muscle they mix it up, boom, we have more MHC. Therefore, the slow motor units convert into fast motor units, uh, fast switch fibers. No, no, because they increase in size, more myosin heavy chain increase with it. So they, they're twisting the words around. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they're doing this. I'm not even a PhD and I know this. This is just a quick video. I am going to give, the, I'm going to go into a deep dive. Plus, I'm writing a study on this. They've been doing, they've been saying this for the last, I don't know, from the 80s, 90s, hybrid fibers. Are you kidding me? Type 1 is type 1, type 2 is type 2. The motor neuron, the common drive, descending drive, the motor engrams, all the way down, all the way down, the fiery race, they're all connected to a specific muscle. You cannot change that. They're not hybrid. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen.